Mark, thanks for joining us. This is often the time where we get some final reflections on the latest game, but given the nature of Tuesday night's match, is it a case of sort of scratching that to one side and trying to glean positives from other recent home games against Sunderland and Southampton going into the weekend? I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. Um, let, let's let's get it right from sort of the outset. We um, we can't just brush Tuesday evening aside. You know, there was a lot um, that we could have done better, and there's a lot that we should have done better. So we have to, um, you know, we have to reflect on that, and we have to show the players that. And we have to have some, you know, some honest discussions, really. Um, but you know, Southampton. Sunderland, Blackburn, there was a lot of positives in, in the games and um, we can't forget that either. And on the back of the match with Middlesbrough, what have you noticed on the training ground? Has there been an eagerness to put things right? Yeah, listen, the, the players are trying hard. Um, you know, they, we just have to keep giving them the same the messages that, 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 we, that the manager wants and um, we have to keep enforcing that and they have to keep responding to that. But... Um, you know, let's be honest that we have to get our performance level higher because performances get points in the end and so um, we have to improve on that. And given that, is it a bonus that you're back home at St Andrews at Knighthead Park? So definitely, after? definitely. I feel like since we've been here, we're a better team at home in front of our supporters. I don't want that, well, I do want that going forward, but I want it, we need to be a better team away as well. Um, we need to be a better team home or away. And a lot of the points this season have been garnered at home. It, the fans have been key, key to that. And I know that when, when, when we say, when you say that you want them to stick with us, that also message also comes from Tony. Yeah, definitely. You know, the, the, I speak to Tony regularly now. He's getting stronger. And, um, you know, we both, we both understand how important the fans are to the team. And, um, you know, we want to just sort of make that plea of um, let's, uh, you know, the football club can inquest as as long as they want at the end of the season um, and I, we understand that the, the, the fans are emotional and you know they're passionate and they're frustrated and we're all frustrated together that we're not more frustrated than them we're as frustrated as them basically so you know we'd like them all to stick together and you know it, it's going to take a big task to, to you know for the last nine games so everybody has to come together really and be it in Birmingham or on the road, road there's still 27 points to play for 27 points to play for, nine games, you know, you would say 20, 25% of the season. Um, there's, there's a lot in front of us, but also we have to understand where we are. And um, away from home, they've, the fans have again came in the numbers. So, uh, you know, it, we've got a big support. We're never on our own, home or away. So we have to, um, you know, we have to rise to it. With those nine matches, John really said that it's the responsibility of everyone, regardless of their experience level, how much pitch time they've been had to take responsibility and effectively stand up and be counted. Is, you really want to see those personalities out there on Saturday against Watford? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we need to see personalities every day in the building, every training session, every game, every after meeting, every half time, every, before the match. We, everywhere we've been, Tony and me, we've tried to encourage people to have personalities. We've embraced their personalities. We want them to care to emotionally show up for the football club that we work for. So um, it, it's massive. We need to do better with um, personality and leadership. Watford themselves will be led by Tom Cleverley in the dugout this weekend. What sort of challenge can we expect from them? Maybe slightly different to what it would have been prior to his Yeah, I mean, they won one in 11 before he, um, before you know, the last coach lost his job. So um, I think he's going to want to do something different. He's going to, make, going to want to make his mark on the football club. He's got some, you know, players who were playing the Premier League not long ago. Um, he's got a decent squad to work with, and I'm sure he'll come with bags of enthusiasm, looking forward to the game against us. We have to stand up to that, and um, we have to show how how, how our football club's a, di a diff difficult place to come to, and we have to um, get someone from the game. And at the weekend, not only the chance to bounce back from back-to-back -back defeats and, and pick up a valuable three points but a good time to get a win going into the first international break of the year yeah I think it um, you know it can give you give you a lift it going at the international and then we can you know again we can work hard on the training ground because we'll have eight games in front of us which again are going to be a massive challenge game to game you were a game without Christian Bielik midweek Mark Roberts came off injured early in the first half what's the latest on those two I think, like I said previously, Christian isn't going to be 
sort of fit at the air till after the international break at the earliest. So um, that's where he is. You know, we miss we miss him to be honest, but um, he's working hard. And I think Mark's now, you know, um, sort of damaged his calf again that he did previously. So I would suggest he's going to need a period out of the t out of the team. On the flip side of those two being out, Dion Sanderson has now completed his free game suspension. Great to have him back. Yeah, it's great to have Dion. He's the captain, and we talked earlier about leaders and personalities. You know, and Dion. Um, it's got a responsibility, so so we want that from him as well, and he he's fit for selection, so that's good. Thanks for your time. Thank you.